All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's varsity baseball game here at Roger Snyder Field between the home team on the scoreboard, the Fairland Dragons, and the visitors, South Point Pointers. We'll go over tonight's lineups. First for Coach Jenkins and South Point Pointers. Leading off for the Pointers, playing second base, number five, Ethan Lane. Batting second in center field, number 21, Blaine Freeman. At shortstop, number 23, Corey Otzenberger. Hitting fourth, playing first base, Joey Labaldo, number 28. Doing the pitching tonight for the pointers, batting fifth, number three, Braden Hanshaw. In right field, hitting sixth, number 13, Colton Lehman. Number eight, Gage Chapman will be doing the catching, hitting seventh. Hitting eighth, number two, Zathan Haney at third base. And hitting ninth, number zero, Reese Kraft. For Coach Drew Clark, is two and eight Dragons. The leadoff batter at shortstop is number four, Bryson Hunt. In left field, number seven, I'm sorry, left field, number 25, Ben Southern. At first base, number 22, Alex Morgan, hitting third. Doing the pitching, hitting fourth, number 15, Ethan Wall. At third base, number 14, Garrett Conwell will hit fifth. At second base, number 17, Blaze Perry, hitting sixth. Carson Sansom will be in right field, and he's number five, hitting seventh. Cyrus Cummings is the catcher, and he is being DH4 by number 24, Luke Brown. And hitting ninth for the Dragons in center field, Number 13, Keegan Smith. Tonight's OVC matchup is a uh, kind of an early season matchup. The pointers are seven and three, Dragons are two and eight. So both teams have got 10 games in, about halfway through the season. Uh, pivotal game for both teams. The Dragons really need this game uh, to get things going. Get things rolling. Pointers are trying to stay on a roll. Look, like they're playing some pretty good baseball. And uh, we're excited to get this thing underway here in about five minutes. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. We'll be back with the first pitch in just a moment. All right, we are back and ready for the first pitch of the game. Let's go over the Dragons defensively at first base. Alex Morgan. Second base is Perry. Shortstop is Hunt. Third base is Cornwell. And left field, Southerd. Center field, Smith. Right field, Sansom. Doing the catching for the Dragons is Cummings. And doing the pitching for the Dragons, Ethan Wall. Wall is a junior who's had varsity innings since his freshman year, so he's a pretty experienced pitcher. Uh, mix up between a Pretty nice little fastball and a little curve slider. He's got a, or a first really nice warm uh, spring day, 82 degrees out here. The wind blowing straight in from center field, so any fly balls are not going to carry very well. And we are about ready to get set here. Leading off of the pointers, the second baseman, Ethan Lane. Lane's a pretty quick kid. If I remember right from last year, he's not afraid to lay down a little bunt, try to beat it out. Slaps the ball around, uses his speed. So here we go, the first pitch. Lane steps in. Wall delivers. Fastball away for ball one. Ground ball back to Wall. Or Wall runs over to first to Morgan for the first out of the inning. Scores a ground out one three for the first out. Brings up center fielder Blaine Freeman.
fastball in for strike one. Fastball again. Wall gets ahead 0 and 2. Both pitches up. It looks like Freeman is a little bit behind both of those. It's the 0 2. And for strike three. So two away brings up shortstop Corey Otzenberger. Pitch up and in for ball one. Ball is hammered down the left field line. It's riding across the wind. And it is out of here. Called foul by the umpire. Well, that sure looked like it curled inside the foul pole to me, but uh, not my call to make. Makes it count 1-1. One, one. That ball was hammered. It got up there and kind of rode across the wind. So 1-1 one, one count. Your ball up 2-1. and one. You know, This wall's been up with a lot of his pitches so far <coughs> here in the first inning. Her ball in for strike. So 2-2 two, two count. Her ball in for strike three. In the inning. With pointers, no runs on no hits. No one left on base. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back. Let's go over the pointers defensively. At first is Lobaldo. Second is Lane. Otzenberger at short. Haney at third. We got Kraft in left. Freeman in center and Lehman in right. Chapman doing the catching and on the hill is Hanshaw. Leading off for the Dragons is Bryson Hunt, the shortstop. The speedy senior, probably one of the quickest players, if not the quickest player in Southern Ohio at this time. Uh, Bryson is looking to get the ball down on the ground and try to leg something out here. Use his speed once he gets on the bases, get in scoring position. And Shaw delivers. Pitches away from ball one. And the 1 0. Pitch down. 2 0. Two O's in for a strike. Let's count two and one. Pitch foul back. Two two count. Foul. 
curveball. First curveball we've seen from Hanshaw tonight. That fouls it off. Popped up down the right field line. First baseman's over under it. Lobaldo makes the catch for the first out. Next up for the Dragons, the left fielder, Ben Souther. Southern takes a big swing at the first pitch, curveball. Fastball in for ball one, one one count. Pick up and in, two two count. Two two count on the Dragon senior left fielder. Curveball in for strike three. Brings up the first baseman, the left-handed hitting Alex Morgan. Pitch away for ball one. Down two and oh. So two and oh count on the dragon first baseman. Ground ball up the middle, knocked down by Wayne. Well, that's going to be a base hit. So two away, the first base runner of the game gets on, and Morgan brings up the left-handed hitting pitcher for the Dragons, Ethan Wall. Pitch away for ball one. Wall fouls it on the left field line out of play. Let's count one and one. Inside, curveball, two and one. Pitch down, three one. Three one, two out, runner on first. And 
for strike two. Runs the count to full. Two out, full count. Morgan should be going on the pitch. Give him a head start. She'll go first to third on any kind of base hit. Pitch inside for ball four. So Wall walks. We're going to go first and second now. Two outs with Cornwell coming to the plate. Dragon third baseman steps in. Well, it's a fly ball in the shallow right. Layman coming in, he's under it, he makes the play. So for the Dragons, no runs on one hit, two runners left. At the end of one, your score's tied at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. So we are back for the start of the second inning. And leading off the second, Inning is the first baseman, Joey Labaldo. Curveball flying to left field. Southern's under it. He makes the catch. One pitch, one out, brings up the pitcher, Braden Henshaw. Wall's been pretty efficient with his pitches tonight so far. Curveball in for strike one. Ball away. Let's count one one. Fastball up and away. Two one count. Fastball in for strike two, makes the count two-two. In for strike three. So. Two down. Brings up Colton Lehman. Right fielder. Away from ball one. Balls fly ball into center field. Smith's under it. He makes the catch for third out in the inning. For the pointers, no runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on base. At the end of the top of the second. Scores tied at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. We are back for the bottom of the second. Leading off for the Dragons, the second baseman, Blaze Perry. Perry has committed to play baseball at the next level at Salem University. Pitch away for ball one.
Terry gets a high chopper short. Fiddle by Ossenberger. Throw is high. And Perry is in there. But Perry reaches on the E6. Lead off the inning for the Dragons. Next up is the right fielder, Carson Sansom. So nobody out, runner on first. Sansom the hitter. Good lead. Throw is over. Hits Perry in the back. Henshaw checks for runner, delivers. Sansom squares the bunt, takes for strike one. Pitches away from ball one, throw down to first, back easy. The one one count. Sansom squared awful early that last time, and Haney was in his hip pocket. He wants to bunt that ball down the first baseline if he wants to advance the runner here. Bunted foul. Next count one two. In for strike three. So one away. Next batter is the DH Luke Brown. Brown is hitting for the catcher Cyrus Cummings. Swings through the first offering. Brown with a wide open stance here. Didn't quite get it closed his last swing. Let's see if he can get it back in there. Pitch grounded up the middle in for a base hit. Perry holds it second. So one out, runners on first and second, brings up the center fielder, senior or junior, Keegan Smith. Smith takes strike one. Fouls it back. Falls behind 0 and 2. O2 here. Curveball away. The 1 2. Curveball foul. Count remains one, two.
Curveball, foul straight up. One, two, one, two count. That was Hanshaw here. I think I'd hit him with a high fastball, see if he chased something here. There it is. Ball fouled down the right field line, out of play. Smith's doing a good job of just putting a bat on the ball. He's pulled a couple of good pitches. Still one and two. Ball's grounded down the right first base line. Crazy hops there. He stayed foul. Whether Smith gets on or not, he's running this pitch count up on Hanshaw. Today's game pitch count is a big factor in coaches' decision making on how long they leave pitchers in for. And got him with a high fastball. So two away, brings his leadoff lead off hitter, Bryson Hunt. Hunt flew out the first, his last at bat. Pitches away for ball one. Lines it down the third baseline foul. Coach Clark needs to charge that ball a little bit. He looked as scared as he did when he used to play first base. We got a 1 1 count on the Dragon leadoff hitter towards stop. Bryson Hunt. Hunt, it's a slow roller to short. It's going to be tough to get him at first. He runs way too well. He runs way too well. The infield single on that. Loads of bases for the Dragons. So two out and bases loaded. Left fielder Ben Southerd. It's an early big situation here for the Dragons. Her ball up high for ball one. Pitch in for strike one. One one count. Pitch in for strike two. One two count on Southern. See if Hanshaw goes back to his curveball here. I think it's fastball popped the first. That'll end the inning. The Dragons, no runs on two hits, three runners left. At the end of two, your score's tied at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. We are back for the top of the third inning. Leading off for the pointers is the catcher, Gage Chapman, the seven hitter. So Wall has worked the perfect game through two so far. Three up, three down, both first and second inning.
Chapman squares a bunt, bunts it down to Cornwell. Cornwell throws across the diamond. Umpire calls him safe. That's a bunt single for Chapman. It brings up Zathan Haney, the third baseman. Chapman with a short lead. Haney bunts and misses. Curve ball away. It's a count 0-1. Chapman still following the first base with his lead. There he goes. Pitches away. Chapman steals the bag. Tough pitch for his coming to throw on there. Pitches out and away from him. It's count 1-1. One, one. Haney pimps a bunt, fouls it straight back right at me. Brings the count to one and two. One, two count on Haney. Curveball. Got him on the checks on the swing. It's first out of the inning. So Haney's retired on strikeout. Brings up the left fielder, Reese Kraft. Kraft, the nine hitter. Trying to steal third. He's safe. The corner's rolling the dice, being aggressive. Stealing two bases now. So one out. Chapman on third. But the Dragon infield's going to come in on the corners. Second base is in. Here comes Hunt. Curry in now. In for a strike. Ball in for strike two, one two count. Strike three. So two away brings up the leadoff hitter, Ethan Lane. Lane grounded out to the pitcher, his last at bat. So one hopper back to Wall. So two away. Curveball in for strike one. Curveball in for strike two. Curveball is hanging up there a little bit. I need to get that down just a little bit. Two count. Ground ball to second. Perry's got it. Those are Morgan. That ends the inning. For the pointers, no runs on one hit. One runner left. In the top of the third, your score is still tied at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the start of the bottom of the third inning. Leading off for the Dragons will be the first baseman, Alex Morgan.
Where we had a base hit into right field last at bat. Takes a curveball in for strike one. Dragons have left four runners on in the first two innings. Coach Clark will be looking to try to plate some of these guys as they have put the ball in play and had some opportunities. Morgan with the line drive, one hopper, shortstop. Nice play there by Otzenberger. Took a little bad hop to his right. To retire Morgan. Next up's Ethan Wall. Wall walked his last at bat. Wall fouls it down the left field line. Count on one. Curveball inside, 1-1. One, one. Wall, ground ball to second, Lane fields it, throws the first. So, consecutive ground outs for the Dragons brings up Garrett Cornwell. Cornwell flew out to right, his last at bat. Curveball grounded foul. So oh, one count on the Dragon third baseman. Pitch up and in. Count one one. Two one. Pitch foul straight back. Count two two. Her ball in for strike three in the inning. The Dragons, no runs on no hits. Nobody left on base through three complete. We're still at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the top of the fourth inning. Leading off of the pointer is a two hitter, Blaine Freeman. Freeman was a strikeout victim, his first at bat. Curveball in for strike one. Curveball in for strike two. The wall started Freeman off of two softies. Freeman looking for that fastball. Now two strikes. He got to adjust about anything that comes in there. Wall tries to throw the fastball by him. Pop down the right field line. Samson makes a diving catch out there. Nice play out there in right field. For Carson Samson. The first out for the pointers.
Next up, the shortstop, Corey Otzenberger. Some type of bracelet or something that Samson was wearing, I think, broke on him when he dove out there. Make a highlight play, you'll sacrifice that. First pitch to Ossenberger's curveball in for strike one. Ground ball hit the middle. Hunt, nice range right there. Throw to first. Nice play right there. That's a good play you'll see on a shortstop. Get that ball right over top seven, second base bag. Did he set his feet through on the run and made a nice strong throw to first. Two out now for the pointers. Brings up Braid, or Joey Labaldo. Labaldo flew out to Southern in left field, his first at bat. Curveball in the center field. Keegan Smith running it down. Smith makes a nice running catch out there. The three nice plays by the Dragons this inning. Puts the pointers down, one, two, three. So South Point, no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base. At the end of the top of the fourth, we're tied at zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the bottom of the fourth. Leading off of the Dragons, Blaze Perry. Perry reached on the air on the shortstop last at bat. Pitch down low for ball one. The Dragons have stranded four runners on base this game, and the pointers have stranded one. Both teams have had one runner to reach third. Perry, the ground ball to third. Haney makes a play. Throw across in the dirt. He dug out there by Labaldo. First out in the inning. Right there for the Dragons is the right fielder, Carson Sansom. Carson made a nice diving play out in right field. Sometimes you make a great defensive play, it transfers over into the batter's box. Dragons will be looking for Sansom to get on base, takes the first pitch for ball one. Curveball in, dugouts yelling, wear it. Needing that base runner. Any way you can get it. Fastball down low, 2 0. -oh. 2 0 -oh count on Sansom. Pitch away, 3 0. -oh. Three of count on Sansom. I'd say he's got the red light right here. Pitch away from ball four, so we get a first, second walk of the evening. Allowed by Henshaw. Sansom reaches first. So one out brings up Luke Brown. Got that wide open stance I'm not a big fan of. Makes it real difficult to get to that pitch on the outside part of the plate. He takes the first pitch in for strike one. Makes it easy to turn on the inside pitch. Hanshaw can stay away. He's going to struggle hitting the ball here. Curveball in for strike two. 0-2 oh, count on... Brown. Brown reached with a single his last at bat. Ground ball hit the second. 
Good play there by Lane. He looked as good as second. And realized he didn't have enough time to get that out. So he calmly threw the first to get the second out of the inning. So two away brings up Keegan Smith, runner on second. Look for Sansom to get a real big secondary here. He's got to score on anything hit in the outfield. Manshaw steps off. No one was holding. Sansom at second. Lane steps in. Hold him on. Pitch away for ball one. Sansom needs to get a little bigger secondary lead here. Make it where he can score pretty easily on a ball hit into the outfield. Smith swings and misses. Second pitch in the at-bat. Makes count 1-1. One, one. Smith a little late. Makes it 1-2. One two count on Smith. Shortens up a little bit. Big hole on the right side. He shoots that way, just foul. Count remains one two. One two count on Smith. Two away, runner at second. Henshaw working quick and Smith not set. Curveball grounded to third. Haney backs up. That's a tough play to make. He runs well. He's safe there. And he backed it up to play the big hop. Smith runs really well. I know he's make a tough play out of it. He throws it in the dirt. The Dragons have runners on first and third, and Bryson Hunt steps to the plate. The Dragons had a lot of runners in scoring position. See if they can take advantage of one here. Pitch away from ball one. Uh, he stepped off and got him. Got him in the rundown. Uh, Sansom's going to score. A run's going to count for the Dragons. Ball's thrown away. Smith's going to advance to third base on that in the rundown. So, good pickoff move by Hanshaw. Backfires. Hanshaw did a nice job there with the fake to third and turn to first. Got the ball to the second or shortstop. Shortstop's got to run that all the way back to the bag and get that out. Right there at first base on the first throw. The longer you go, the more chance of that guy on third scoring. So the Dragons open up the scoring tonight. Smith moves to third on the two base error. <coughs> 1 0 count on Hunt. Takes away. Count 2 0. I'm going to coach Jenkins here. I think I'm going to take a, not take my chances here with Bryce and I'm going to move into the less experienced Ben Southern sitting back here, hitting behind him. Pitches in for strike one. <coughs> Two one count. Foul 
straight back. 2-2. Two -two. Not saying that uh, Ben couldn't get the job done. Just that uh, Bryson's had a lot more experience in these type situations. And this is Ben's first year playing baseball. Curveball away gets him. So that ends the inning. The Dragons, one run on no hits and two pointer errors. Your score after four complete, Fairland one, South Point zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back to the top of the fifth. And Braden Henshaw leads off of the pointers. Henshaw is a strikeout victim, his last at bat. Needs to help his own calls here, get on base to start this top of the fifth inning for the pointers. Henshaw's pitched a pretty good game here. Fly ball into center, Smith. Just judging for a second, makes the play out there. The first out in the inning. That's a last uh, three balls the pointers have hit have been tagged pretty hard. Ball needs to get that pitch down a little bit. Brings up Colton Lehman. Lehman flew, flew out to center field. His first at bat, first pitch is in for strike one. So 0-1 to count. The wall pitches away, 1-1. One, one. Curve ball in for strike two. Layman went fishing on that. Fastball, tomahawked out in the left field. Southern going back and makes the catch. Did he not make the catch? I don't know. I thought he made the catch. No, he did not make the catch, so that's a double. Double for Lehman. Ball up over his head, he tomahawked into left field. It brings up the catcher, Gage Chapman. Chapman bunted his last at bat to get on base. Before this inning, he was the only pointer base runner. Pitch away, nice stop by Cummings there. Counts 1 0. Pitch away, 2 0. Walls only had to work out a stretch for one other time this evening. Reach that balance point. Out of the stretch is a little different. Gather yourself. Pitch high. 3 0. Tie for ball four. So we're running on first and second now. As Fairland calls timeout, pitching coach Mike Shepard will get mound and impart some wisdom. So he's going to talk to Mr. Wall about getting bounced a little bit. He's kind of rushing delivery to the plate. One away, you got runners on first and second, so you got forces around the infield. Zathan Haney up. Haney tried to bunt his last at bat. First two pitches and was unsuccessful. And ended up striking out. I believe Haney's a senior. Don't quote me on that. One out, runs on first and second. 
Pitch is in for strike one. That's the location Wall needs to live at right there. Down around the knees, get him a ground ball here. Nice easy force out somewhere. Fly ball popped up. That's an infield fly roll. So two out now. Runners on first and second. Brings up Reese Kraft. Looks like we have a pitch hitter here. Looks like the pitch hitter for the pointers. Be left -handed, left handed hitting Cam Miller, number one. So two away, runs on first and second. Miller takes first pitch out inside in for strike one. Swung line to Hunt in the inning. The pointers, no runs. One, two, one hit. Two runners left on base. In the top of the fifth, it's Fairland one, South Point zero. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the bottom of the fifth. Leading off for the Dragons, number 25, Ben Southard. Ben almost made another highlight catch out there in the outfield. I thought he actually caught it. Curveball in for strike one. Nice pitch there by Chapman. That curveball was sharp, finished down, good pitch. Fastball up, makes count 1-1. One, one. Pitch foul back on the fists. Makes count 1-2. and two. Curveball up high, 2 2. Pitch, when you start that curveball that high, it's hard to get that call. Fastball foul down the right field line, first baseline foul. Count remains 2 2. Curveball, chop back at the pitcher. Chapman, the easy play to first. Retire Southard. Brings up Alex Morgan. Morgan's one for two on the evening. A base hit and a ground out. Base hit just to the Throwing hand side of the second baseman got through and ground ball the second baseman got out on. Chapman set up like he's gonna go from the stretch and decided he wanted to go from the wind up. Pitch inside for ball one. More of a ground ball up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. Morgan reaches on a base hit. 
Right, his evening two for three. Dragons going to courtesy run, pitch, or pitch run here for Morgan. Dragons going to pitch run Wyatt Thomas for Morgan. Brings up Ethan Wall. Wall's grounded out to second and walked. Thomas dives back in ahead and throw close play. Got to pay attention to the pitcher. A little bit delayed. It looked like he was looking somewhere else. Got a nice lead over there. Pitch gets away. Thomas advances second base on the wild pitch. A big play right there. I was fully expecting the Dragons to try to steal a base there, but had to give me with the wild pitch. So runner on second. Wall line drive to second. Right at lane. Ball sharp hit. The second out of the inning brings up Garrett Cornwell. Cornwell's flied out to right and struck out. Wall tagged that ball, but hit it right at second baseman. So we're soft. We've had a couple of those Adam balls too tonight. Went both ways. Both teams playing some pretty good defense. Thomas with a good lead. Work on that secondary here so he can score on a hit by Cornwell. Second run's a huge run. Ball away from ball one. It's felt like you get in the fifth, sixth, seventh inning. If you can add one run, you get that two run lead. It makes a huge difference on the pressure on your team and how you pitch. Pitch away, 2-0. away 3-0 like maybe the pointers are deciding they want to face Perry here I don't know it's like he's being awful careful with Cornwell pitch down for ball four Thomas is going to advance that's a big move up right there Makes it where anything, any type of base hit now he can score on. So now we got runners on first and third, and Perry stepping to the plate. We got a timeout. South Point coach wants to come out and talk to his pitcher. So a big situation here. Two away, two away. Runners on first and third. Last time Dragons were in this situation, Hanshaw made a nice pickoff move and got the runner on first, Smith, in a rundown. But Smith stayed alive in that rundown long enough for Sansom to score, being the lone run we've had of the evening. I'm sure they want to talk about how they want to handle that situation this time. Also, just give, give Hanshaw a chance to catch his breath. This is the... Fifth time through, fifth inning through here. Let everybody relax, just know we just need to get an out here. Don't matter how we get it. Perry, the line drive into center field, that's gonna fall. Thomas is gonna score, Cornwell goes to third. Clutch hit by Blaze Perry. That's what you need your senior to do right there. Get that clutch hit. Drive in that second run, get a two-run lead. And we still have runners on first and third. And Carson Sansom steps to the plate. Sampson walked and scored the first dragon run. Oh. 
Perry takes second base. On the straight steal, no attempt made to hold him there. So let's not get credit for that stolen base. So runners on second, third, two out. Sampson fouls at the plate. Hit right here up with this game up for the Dragons. Pointers have got to get this out here to stay in this game. 1-1 one, one count. Curveball in for strike two. Sampson trying to pull that curveball. He's got to recognize it, take it back up the middle. So two strikes on him now. They put that ball in play. Make the pointers field it. Pitch up. 2-2. Two, two. Swing and a miss for strike three for the Dragons. We've got one run on two hits. Two Dragon runners left. At the end of five complete, Fairland two, South Point nothing. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the top of the sixth. And you think this is where the pointers need to make, make some uh, noise here. You got Ethan Lane, Freeman, and Otzenberger at the top of the order up. Lane is grounded out twice, once to the pitcher, once to second base. Ball pitches down low for ball one. The one of count on Lane. Ground ball, that's going to be a tough play. Cornwell charges. He's safe. Lane's too fast for that. That's an infield single. The second hit of the game for the pointers. Coach Clark is called timeout and asking the umpire if that ball hit Lane in the box. Took a funny bounce coming out of there, but I think it was off the front of the plate. Talk about something now. I saw Alex Morgan bend down and rub Lane's foot. Like that ball might hit him in the front of it, hit him in the foot, come out of the box. I don't know if they were just clowning or what. They're going to let it stand. So, infield single for Lane brings up Freeman. Freeman is struck out and flied out to the right. Nice diving catch out there by Carson Sansom. The leadoff runner off of the pointers is what they needed. Ball delivery down low for ball one. So sixth inning. This is always a dilemma for a coach. You're down two, but you don't want to stop all your base runners, but you also don't want to get thrown thrown out. Lane's test the water, doesn't go. Freeman swings through the 1 0 offering, makes the count 1 1. I see a hit and run here. I see a straight steal. It's not that far out. Probably got good speed there in the lane. There goes Lane. A hit and run, popped up. It's right on the bag. Morgan might get a double play out of this. Nope. Could not get the double play. Got a conundrum here. 
Did he catch it? Was it a fair ball? First thing, I think it was a fair ball. Okay, so we got a catch, fly out three. Runner on first got back in time. He's safe. So we got a runner on first, one out now. Brings up Corey Otzenberger. Otzenberger struck out, grounded out to short. No, this isn't Otzenberger. This is number 11. Ethan Laszlo. Laszlo hitting for Otzenberger. Pitch down the way. Ball one. Nice block by Cummings. The ball needs to really bear down here and Pitch hitter up, challenges, young man. Pitch in for strike one. Well, I like his back stiff a little bit. Count one one. One away, runner on first. Lane holds in for strike two. One two count now. Pointer pitch hitter, Ethan Laszlo. Fastball up, 2-2. Two, two. Your wall here, you want to challenge him with your best pitch here. Probably that fastball. You want to slow the ball down to his bat speed, possibly. Laszlo's choked up, trying to pick up on it. Pitch in, count full. Your worst nightmare here is walking this, this hitter. Put the tying run on base. Three, two, one out. Pitch is hit into the left field. Southern's there. He makes the catch. Brings up Joey Labaldo. Labaldo flew out to the left and flew out to center. His two at bats. The wind has died down now. The flag's barely ruffling out there. So the ball will carry a little bit. That ball kind of hung up. Two out, lane on first. Curveball in for strike one. Baldo showed he can hit the fastball, so you might see a steady diet of these curveballs, see if he can make an adjustment. Curveball up. One one count. Wall one of that pitch. Once again, it was kind of like the one that Hanshaw threw the last inning. It was up a little bit. Pitch breaking down the top of the zone does not get caught as much as a pitch at the bottom of the zone breaking low. 2 1. Still does not have to come to him here. You can still throw that curveball. Fastball by him. Count 2-2. Two, two. Two, 
Two two count on the pointer first baseman. Pitch away. Three two count now. Lane moved up to second. Pitch foul back. You're not going to put the tying run on with a walk. You're going to make him earn his way. Popped up, popped up. Cummings, the ball comes in, makes the catch. The end, the inning. Pointers, no runs on one hit, one runner left. The end, the top of the six. It's Fairland two, South Point nothing. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. We are back for the bottom of the sixth. The Dragons have 8-9-1 coming up for them. Leading up for the Dragons is Luke Brown, Dragon DH. Luke is singled and grounded out to second. count on Brown. Coach Clark's looking for one run his inning here. He always want to try to add one. Ball slapped down their first base line. It's a fair ball. And he is, he's safe. He dropped the ball. He is safe. He won. Put Brown on first. Brings up Keegan Smith. for Keegan here to be bunning, I would think. Just about guarantee that. Uh, maybe he won't be bunning, it'll be another armband on the signals are. Smith swings through the first one. One count, we resume play here. Smith Bunt's foul, straight back. Counts 0 2. Steps out, calls time. O2 count.
fastball away, one, two. One, two count on the Dragon center fielder. Away, 2 2. Smith showing a good eye here. Work the count back even. 2 2. Pitch up, 3 2. Smith, the ground ball to second. Turn to second, gets one. Haney fields the ball. Gets the throw from second. Dropped the tag and made it go back and got the tag. Got time. Looks like they've called him safe now. We're going to talk about it again. They're calling a drop on a transfer. So Brown is out at second on the fielder's choice. Smith's on first now. Brings up Bryson Hunt. So one out, Hunt on first. Look for Smith to be running here. Yep, there he goes. Hunt hits the ball right in the hole, vacated by the shortstop. The ball was hit so hard that Smith had to stop. Give Hunt a single there. Runners on first and second now. One away. Brings up Ben Southern. Ben is over three on the evening. A correction. We got a pitch hitter here. First pitch is swung on and missed. This is. This one on my list here. Pitches lifted into the first base side. First baseman's under it. He makes the catch. Runners return. Sorry, I don't have that for 21 on my roster for Fairland. I'll tell you who that was. So two out, brings up Alex Morgan. Morgan's two for three on the evening. Curveball away. Smith stealing third, and he makes it easy. First and third, two away. The Dragons have had this situation a couple times this evening. Smith on third, Hunt on first. A lot of speed out there. Morgan, fly ball down the left field line. It's slicing foul.
We've got a 1 1 count on Alex Morgan. Dragon three hitter. Morgan fouls it back. Makes count 1 2. Morgan with a line drive, base hit into center for our left field. That's going to score Smith. The Dragons plate their third run. A big night for Morgan, three for four. Gives the Dragons a three run lead now. Hunt on second, Morgan on first. Two out. Wall swings, misses through the swings through the fastball. Makes the count 0 1. Pitch down, 1 1 count. Away two one. Two one count on wall. Swing. Let's count two two. Two two count. Kraft, the pointer left fielder, is really playing shallow. Won't get something down that line. We're going to see both runs score. Up, it swings through the pitch, miss. Strike three. Ends the inning for the Dragons. The Dragons get one run on two hits, one pointer error. Your score after six complete, Fairland three, South Point nothing. This is the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. All right, we are back for the top of the seventh. Fairland with a three-run lead here. Pointers are sending Hanshaw, Lehman, and Chapman to the plate. Hanshaw's 0 for 2 on the evening. Curveball up high for ball one. So as a pitcher here, you got to throw strikes. Let your defense work. You just need three outs. Hanshaw drives it into left field. Southern's on the run. That pitch is out of here for a home run. And Hanshaw starts off the inning with a solo homer. Makes a score 3 1. Score three to one, so brings up Lehman. Lehman is one for two with a double. Lehman fly ball in the center field. Smith drifting over. He makes the catch. First out in the inning. Brings up Chapman, Gage Chapman. Reached on a bunt and a walk. So he's one for one on the evening. Pitch is fouled down the right field line. Out of play. The wall gets ahead 0 and 1. Good 
pitch. That's your location right there. That's count 0-2. Pitch popped up into right field. Sansom's coming under. He makes the catch. Brings up Zathan Haney. Haney is 0 for 2 on the evening with a strikeout and a fly out to first base. So two out, Haney to the plate. Pitch in for strike one. A new school of thinking here for these coaches that we always took when we were behind in the first inning. So that pitcher could throw us a strike. And he was free swinging right there. Makes count one one. Pitch in for strike two. Makes count one, two. One, two count on the pointer shortstop. Ground ball up the middle. Hunt can't get there. That's a base hit for Haney. Brings up Reese Kraft. Kraft struck out in his first at bat. Let's pitch hit for it in his second at bat. So this is the nine hitter in the lineup. This is the one you want to get. You don't want to get back up to the top. 1-0 count on Kraft. The wall starting to show a little sign of fatigue. It doesn't seem to have that pop he had early. Pitches in for a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Pitch away, 2-1. Pointer trying to get the top of that line up again. If they can make something happen. Pitch in for strike two. Count 2-2. Two, two. ball towards Perry. Perry feels it and bobbles. And it looks like the umpire called him out first, so that ends the game. End the game. Dragons will win this one three to one. Pointers scored one run on three, four hits. And no Dragon errors. The Dragons scored three runs on eight hits and three pointer errors. So pretty well played game, pretty well pitched game this evening by both teams. High school baseball 3-1, you kind of like that. So your final, Fairland three, South Point one. Fairland moves to three and eight. Pointers dropped to seven and three. Thank you for watching this evening. This is broadcast brought to you by the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel.